What's up YouTube? This is Owen Dowell here and today I'm going to be doing a very simple no frills unboxing of this. This is something I've been needing to purchase for myself for, I mean it's, I've definitely needed it for a couple years and I've just, I just haven't really gotten around to buying it but I was browsing Amazon one day and saw this, it was on sale and I decided I would go ahead and bite the bullet and snag it. This is the Samsung T7 Shield. This is a portable SSD as you can see. And I've actually had it uh, sitting here just like this in my in my house for about a month and a half. I just, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a video on it and I was finally like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. I wanna make a quick unboxing just to show you guys what this is all about, make you guys aware of it. Let me go ahead and show you. Here it is on Amazon. You can see it's on sale right now. It, it's frequently on sale, $167, 41% off for two terabytes. You can also get different colors here. You've got beige and you got blue. So definitely something worth checking out if you're interested. Also, I'm doing something a little bit different with the lighting. So usually I have my phone surrounded by a ring light, but I've actually moved the ring light off to the side. And then, and then this light source over here is a, it's literally a $5 Walmart lamp that puts out just ridiculously high quality light for $5 that I've used off and on. That's just kind of acting as a fill light. We're still getting a little bit of a shadow here. Also, I was getting a lot of distracting reflections on my table. So this is actually, a very random a very random service this is a cover for a portable monitor which is broken so uh i'll throw the monitor out but i might hold on to this because i don't know about y'all this looks kind of sick aside from the creases we'll see i don't know i'm it's still kind of work in progress i do want to get better lighting here at some point as well as better audio because iphone audio is it's 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 bad um okay so anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and let's crack into this thing. Just a quick look around the box. You can kind of see some of the specifications there, stuff like that. Um, or here's some of the specifications for you rather, and then what it comes with. So let's go ahead and crack into this thing. Um, I'm very excited. Oh shoot, you know what I do not have? I don't have a knife. I really need to get like a proper place for this knife in my house because like to, earlier today I was throwing, I was trying to recycle some like plastic um, you know, beer can holders, and I couldn't couldn't find my knife to uh, cut it up. So yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. Been putting this off for a while, and I, I definitely want to clear out the hard drive on my Mac. And also, this is my iPhone 16. This should work with my iPhone 16 because of the USB-C port. I will try that, and we will see if it works. All right. So here's a little slidey thing right here. Taking it out, Samsung. All right, get rid of that. All right, let's see what we got here. So this is actually a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Bang. Oh, there it is. Okay, that is not what I expected at all. Wow, this, whoa, that is not what I expected at all. This is not metal, this is made of rubber. <laughs> like actual bouncy rubber like you know what i mean this is that's nuts and you might be sitting there thinking don't do that why are you doing that it's okay this is an ssd there's no moving parts so there's nothing to hurt if i if i if i like drop it and bang it around a little bit but this is nice i think this is a sleeve or a cover is it no i think that's on there i think that is just what this is made out of that is pretty cool all right so going further deep inside got this tray and uh, how do you get to that? Like, how do you get to that? Do you have to open this? I guess you have to open this. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame here. Hopefully the shadows aren't too distracting. That's distracting. <laughs> um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is a very crazy unboxing experience, wow. If anything, this is a tutorial on how to open this thing. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So we actually get both a USB-C to USB-A adapter. All right. And we get a USB-C to USB-C uh, cable. Not not adapter, but cable. So that's pretty cool. This is obviously the one that I will be using. I'll be keeping it kind of with it. Like so. So there's that. And then we have USB 
A to USB-C, which is actually really neat if you still have a computer that uses that. So that's awesome. Okay, very nice, very nice. And it looks like in here we do get some other stuff, portable SSD, blah, 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 whatever you wanna do, a little manual. All right, all right, once again, removing things. I removed that big surface because I did wanna show y'all something that I've never shown before. This is my laptop bag that I bought for my MacBook Pro actually while I was waiting for my MacBook Pro to arrive. So I filmed my unboxing video. I already had this, but I obviously didn't have a computer to put in it. But I did just want to show you this. Does seem to have a good pocket for it. I was looking at it earlier today. Yeah, look at this. So check this out. You've got all these different pockets in here for like pins and then sleeves and stuff. I keep my charging stuff in here, including this extension cable that I found and actually restored. Um, I made it look brand new again. Um, so that should just slot right in there. And then of course this USB-C cable, I would put, I, I guess I could put it in here, but this is actually where I keep my little USB-C to USB-A adapters. I have a couple of them just in case I need to use a USB-A accessory. These little guys are here. Very, very cute. Very, very useful. Actually, if you, if I'll link those on, on, in the description, if you want one. So yeah, anyway, that's that. I just wanted to show off my laptop bag because I haven't really shown it on YouTube yet. Pretty nice bag. It was a little bit expensive, but I was just looking for something, you know? <laughs> I wanted something. I'm really glad I went with this one. It feels premium. So in here is the Mac. So let's get this out and let's find a video file or something. Get out of here to transfer. Let's do this. What's up everybody? So I am now about to show you guys the demo of the SSD, which I have right here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I've actually got a workflow. I'm recording this right now on my iPhone 16. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get this very video that you're watching right now off of my iPhone onto here directly. And then we'll put it off from here onto my computer. And I will also copy a large file, probably the project file for this very video that you're watching right now. I'll copy that from my computer to the SSD so you can see just how fast this SSD truly is. Uh, because honestly, it's scary impressive. All right, all right, here we go. This here's the video as you can see, I've got it recorded here. So what you can actually do because this is a USB-C slash Thunderbolt drive, um, on the newer iPhones, such as the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I think all the way back to the iPhone 14 Pro, you can plug it into the bottom, and you'll actually be able to access your drive from your phone. So what I think I should be able to do, I gotta be kind of careful about how I do this, it's occurring to me. So I can actually come down here and hit save to files, all right? And I should be able to pick a location on here. Yep, here it is. Look, my T7 Shield is right here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place it. I'll even place it in its own folder just so it's like isolated. Um, can I make a folder here? Yeah, perfect. Um, we'll just call this T7 Shield Demo. And let's place it right here. Bang. Done. It is done. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really quick. Um, I'm just checking to make sure it is actually done and I think it is. Yeah, so it was as you saw it was really quick um, And yeah, it should now be on here. So let's actually go ahead and let's plug this thing into my computer and see What we get on my computer All right, so we've got <clears throat> that going. Let me go ahead and plug this into the laptop as you can see it is on we do get that blue activity light that flash is actually when it's being accessed. So that's something worth noting. All right, so let's go ahead and come out of here. And here we have the T7 Shield. And if we take a look, yep, there's the folder that I made on my phone, T7 Shield demo. And if we look right here, that is our video. Check it out. What's up everybody? So there you go. Let's go ahead and actually transfer that to my actual computer. So I'm gonna drag this out. This file, by the way, it's not very large. It's 297 megabytes, but still I'm just gonna plop it in here. 
bang, instant. It was not long ago that that would have taken at least maybe 10 seconds. So that's kind of crazy to think about. All right, so now let me see if I can find where my uh, Final Cut project file is. I'm gonna try moving the entire project file uh, that I currently have right now to my actual thing. So let me go ahead and quit Final Cut just to make sure that nothing weird happens. And let me see if I can find that file and let's move it. All right, so actually I think this is it. Let's see how big this is. Whoa, holy smokes, this is a big boy. Ah, 187.14 gigabytes. Yeah, it's no wonder my poor, <laughs> my poor uh, laptop is kind of struggling these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's let's just drag this, make a copy, and see how fast it goes. So as you can see, just the main thing we want to look at here is the uh, look at that speed. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate that we've already copied 10 gigabytes, 11 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes? Yeah, it is gonna take about four minutes, but I just want to show you guys just, just how much, like, it's insane. <laughs> it's literally insane how fast um, this thing is. So yeah, I did wanna give you guys that quick little demo. I'm not gonna show you the entire thing. It'll copy in about four minutes, three minutes now, but still, like, that is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. This. I, my first ever hard drive that I ever bought was like 500 gigabyte hard drive and it was a spinning hard drive. Now we've got this two terabyte SSD right here, so small. It's like smaller than my hand as you might be able to see. Like, and it's just blazing, you know what I mean? It's, it's just absolutely nuts. So anyway, yeah, that's mostly it. I just wanted to show you guys a little demo of it actually copying. I guess I'll just continue talking while it's happening. Because, yeah, I think that's actually it for this video, <laughs> believe it or not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so very much for watching. And yeah, I'll have a link to this in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I don't have Amazon affiliation, so it's just a standard Amazon link. Um, if you're interested, I recommend it. It seems really fast. It seems really good. And I think paying what I did for it being two terabytes is actually a really, really good deal. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a storage solution for video editing or photo libraries whatever you might be or whatever have you. I actually have a couple hard drives that I'm thinking about. Uh, in fact, I'm definitely going to be copying the contents of those hard drives to this thing because I would like to keep them. You know, I think it's just good to make backups of your backups, essentially, because, you know, hard drives and even this thing, you know, obviously it's not going to last forever. So, yeah, it's good to just refresh your data storage every once in a while. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. As you can see, we're already over the 100 gigabyte mark in terms of our copying speed. That is bonkers. Seriously. Like I say, it was not long ago. Something this big would take probably, I don't want to say an hour, but I, I think maybe 20 to 30 minutes is not an unrealistic expectation out of something that was high end back in like 2013. So... That's nuts. And here we are. It's, it's been, well, this clip has been going on for five minutes and we've, we're almost finished. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so, so very much for watching and adios. Although, should we just let it ride? <laughs> we made it this far. We've made it this far. We've got to see it finish. We've got to see it. We've got to. All right, we'll let it finish. Also, I think it might be possible if you get an iPad Pro I think iPad Pros can read these basic, um, you know, Mac Macintosh Final Cut projects. So that's worth noting as well. And, oh, sorry, I thought we were almost done. We've, we've still got about 10 gigabytes, 10 seconds. It's still, it, it, honestly, this still blows my mind. And it's not even warm. Like we're pumping all this data into it. It's not even warm. There we go. That is that. Check that out, 2024, 187 gigabytes. That is nuts. All right, you guys, thank you so, so very much for watching and adios.